Well, ladies and gentlemen, we do a little mowing today with a hand fried RC 5715, 15 foot bat wing, good for four inch diameter material, but today we're cutting just really thick pasture, just trying to get it prepped for the winter. And we in the fence 516. And basically, a 57 15 with the tandem walking axles in the middle or center and the pivoting tandem axles on the side with the refacing cylinders on each side of the wings. As we talked about earlier, it does away with the turnbuckles so the one more stays level. So basically, I started in this field this morning. Uh, I went around the edge of the field and so if you're starting a new field you would uh, you can just click your fields here but you can hit add a field and uh, you can just type in the name you want now we can just say field one and you just hit your check mark and then you can tell it to do whatever you want but on this case, we wanted to add a field, we'll name it. And I wanted to, um, it's because I already got this field in here. But basically what I did is you go in and you choose, you want to make a border around your field. I drove around the field, cutting, told it to use the right side of my mower as my boundary line, which is 15 foot. So it's seven and a half foot from the center of the tractor. I uh, went around it, and when I get back to the place I started, I hit the end button, and it told me exactly how many acres it was. It drew me a picture of the field, and these are the contour lines I've set up. Uh, currently, I am on contour one, and that is means that that I can, uh, you know, use GPS to bush hog with. I've already set the mower depth and width. So you see it still tells me, you know, how many acres it is, 27.38. So I can go back to my map. And you can tell here's where I've been mowing. Um, you see I don't like much of this area here. Uh, but so to do this, I basically go here to my auto steer, which is already engaged. And I just start my, you know, on a fence, you just basically uh, start the joystick forward and you see I'm starting to move and then I hit my auto steer button there and it turns to green and it is steering itself now and then uh, you can see but right there in the center it says 5.5 miles an hour for my cruise control I have cruise control set right here number one and to engage that all I gotta do is Flip it to the right. Now you can see that it's turned green and now we're going to run five and a half miles an hour. And of course it's driving itself. I'm trying to do a little better job on stabilizing these videos. But uh, you can see doing pretty good. It tells me we're mowing at basically 9.5, 9.6 acres an hour. And you can see it's coloring in and showing where I'm mowing. Everything's running good. Let me turn this radio down a little bit. So, uh, you know, again, very quiet running unit. Uh, have the console flips around where you can easily look behind you. We're just mowing at five and a half miles an hour. Very fuel efficient. It will tell us the fuel we're using per hour. Let's see if I can get over here to it. And this screen here is going to tell me how wide my implement is. How many gallons we use an hour? We're using about 2.4, sometimes 3 gallons an hour. Average has been 2.7. It tells us how many gallons of fuel we got and used, you know, total on the tractor. Um, again, has a lot of information here that you can utilize. Sunshade comes in handy on a day like today. It's pretty sunny, 72 degrees here in Georgia. 
but uh, again, so through this thick stuff here, again, we're doing pretty good with it. And it's pretty thick. That's eating it up pretty good. Because uh, that is not real thin stuff. It's a lot of priors, but uh, as you can tell, doing a pretty good job here. Cutting it at five and a half miles an hour. And it should be just exactly one one width left. That's a good thing about cutting uh, with a GPS. I never thought I could use GPS with a with a mower, but you can. Of course, when I touch the steering wheel, it's going to disengage that. You just saw that light go off on the auto steer. And now we're going to turn around ourselves, and you can see. This is a 27 acre field. So we're doing about nine acres an hour. So it's gonna take me about three hours or, but I stop for lunch, so not a big deal. Now when I get close here, I go back, hit this button, and you just saw it steer. And this is exactly one more with, uh, for GPS with about, I have on uh, three or four inches of of uh, overlap on the side just to make sure I catch the sides. Uh, if you never touch the clutch, it'll continue to stay in uh, cruise control and you can tell where you are. I'm pretty good here. Really thick stuff. But doing a good job, man. tool to have GPS with uh, with your mower you can tell up here where it's colored in this is the last pass and that's the last pass we got right here in this spot so just want to give y'all a little preempt of how it works here in the fence uh, I was listening to a little college football but turned it down so we can do a little video in here but uh Still got to get a little bit over there to do, but uh, we're making progress. So I will take a couple videos here in the next few days, and uh, please hit that subscribe button and like button. Just trying to get started on this to see if it's helpful for everybody. And again, if you never driven or been in the cab of a fin, it's extremely nice. Uh, the nicest cab I've ever been in. And the way it handles, you would think with this joystick, it wouldn't be, be very hard to, to learn. It's a very easy operating system to learn, and once you learn it, you like, man, I never want to go back to the other one. So, I will tune in later. <laughs>